I see something inside of you. I see something that you probably don't see in yourself. The elegant fire, the significance in you, the potential in you. There's a burning fire inside of you. Believe it or not, every time that you wake up and have the opportunity to intake fresh air, that fire is still present. It is something inside of you that encourages you to keep on going. At times, we just don't know what to think. Having clouded judgment, can't seem to find your tempo, but it's all part of your journey. In this lifetime, you are going to indulge yourself with things that you thought was going to align you with success and happiness. Man, I wish I didn't do this. I wish I could have done it a little bit better. We have to learn to let go of the gloomy thoughts because when life showers you with difficulties, it's not there to destroy you, but it's there to build you. It is there to take you to the next level. It's a test before victory. It's a fluctuating fire that goes up and down. Some days that fire will be at its lowest point and it will be up to you to ignite a spark in it. Some days that fire will be bursting into flames and it will be up to you to extinguish it to a level to where you're hungry and humble concurrently. It's essential that you allow God to protect and guard your fire because he is the only being that truly knows that not all of the I'm happy for you is genuinely happy for you. I'm not here to judge nor tear down anyone. That's not my place. But I will inform you that there will be times where your fire fluctuates heavily and strongly, where your fire is being hostile and very defensive. That will usually occur when negative energy is around, when people are there to water down your dreams and aspirations, when there isn't any sign of pure intent. It's okay not to fight fire with fire. It doesn't make you less of a person or weak. It's just an indication that you are much better than that. Whatever bricks is being thrown at you, the negatives that is being spoken over your life, let it ride because your approach and the way you react to things will be the reason why you may get burned by your own fire. As a result of your surroundings and decisions, evaluate it. Anything in the making that has the ability to water down your fire is not worth encircling. I don't care how many times you fail. I don't care how many times you came up short. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself boldly that I am an unfinished product and there's a burning fire instilled in me. As long as I exert and take precautionary measures in what I do, then victory is near. Sometimes it's necessary that you pay attention to every single detail that your fire portrays because it's the remnants and spark in there that alerts you when there is danger. Be real with yourself, even if it hurts. Yes, there's a fire instilled in me, but it's not a fire of value anymore if there's no love in it. My fire is not filled with extreme significance if I'm not always trying to better myself. Then my fire would just be fire. Someone once said, if things get harder, don't lose your fire. Envision it, engage, execute. Carol Blanc.